We begin this afternoon in Fremont, where the police chief says this newly released video proves that the officer was justified in that shooting. Police say the suspect was armed with a ghost gun at the time and that he had shot another person 45 minutes before he was confronted by that officer. Our crime reporter Henry Lee live now for us at the Fremont Police Department with a look at this video. Henry. Well, Heather, the chief does say that this officer does appear to be legally justified in fatally shooting the suspect because the suspect opened fire at the officer. This is police dash camera video showing a Fremont officer confronting a suspect who had shot someone in the head. The suspect fiddles with a shirt in a stroller. Police say he's looking for his gun. You see the gun fall from the shirt into the stroller there. And within seconds. Retrieves the gun. Points it at Officer Hartman. We believe that um, he actually um, shot around at the officer. Shots fired, suspect down. Officer Jesse Hartman, a nine-year department veteran, fired numerous shots, killing the suspect, 22-year-old Kevin Victor Johnston. The shooting happened last month near Auto Mall Parkway in South Lake Common. Acting Police Chief Sean Washington says Johnston was wanted for carjacking and weapons violations. Our officers answered the call and responded to guard our community against an extremely dangerous individual causing harm. Police said 40 minutes before he was killed, Johnson had shot a 25-year-old man in the head at a nearby mobile home park. That victim is still fighting for his life. Police used this surveillance video to help identify the suspect. After Johnson was shot, police recovered what turned out to be a ghost gun. The shooting by the officer is under investigation by Fremont Police and the Alameda County DA's office. But the chief had this to say. I am confident that the officers acted in accordance with the law and our policy. So, um, yeah, I think this is pretty clear cut that this was a justifiable shooting. Now, there have been four shootings by Fremont police this year, three of them deadly. The officer involved in this most recent shooting has since returned to duty. Now, an attorney for the family of the man he shot and killed had no comment today. Reporting live for the Fremont Police Department, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.